Welcome back everybody, in this tutorial we are going to be doing something with Firebase so the idea here is we already created the email sign in uh, with password and login and the creation of the account. Now what we want to do is we want to allow the user to change their user email. So when you create an account with Firebase you get, you get uh, your account or you get the customer's account under users and authentication here and at the same time personally I usually like to save it in a database sorry in the database under users um, so as you can see here it's saved as user email but this actually has nothing to do with the actual user email if you do change this one it doesn't mean that the actual customer email in authentication does change so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can actually change this and at the same time always also change the one in the database so as an example I already created this project and I'll first show you what we're going to be doing so I'm going to sign in and I'm going to type in that email over here, which is my current email. At the same time, I'm going to put my password and we should sign me on in. And if I go to account here, as you can see, I have my email. And the idea here is that if I change this email, I want it to change in the database and also in the authentication on the user. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn editing mode on and I'm gonna go ahead and actually change this from David Maggot one to, let's see, let's change it to, David Coolest one and if I go ahead and click save as you can see it did change in the user email David Bullis one and at the same time if I go to authentication it also changed to David Bullis one at hotmail.com so it changes in both so how do we do that let's go ahead and start this okay so obviously we have here a completed project as you can see I did input firebase and again I'm just showing you how to do um, how to do the change of emails idea so the first thing I want to do is get a reference to the database so I'll say let db equal to firestore dot firestore and then I want to get the user id so I'll say let user id is equal to auth dot auth dot current user and I will simply say uid now why do we want the uid well as you can see here in the database we're actually referring to the user using his uid we're using his unique identification number now you could have asked why am i not using the email and that's because we're changing the email so we want something that doesn't ever change so we can always refer back to it so that's why i'm getting the user id right here after that we also actually need the user email so i'm going to say let user email equal <laughs> equal to auth dot auth current user dot email and after that we also need one more thing which is a reference to the current user let current user equal to auth dot auth dot current user so after that, we actually want to check, so um, let me show you. So right here, we do have three different text fields. And because this same button actually changes the username, email, or mobile number, so we have to check what actually changed. Now, luckily for us, Firebase, when it comes to the database, it actually checks if the new value is equivalent to the old value. And if it is, it's not going to do a change. But for the email, for in the database, it will do the same thing. But for the authentication email, it will give an error, it will say customers, customers uh, the email that you inserted already exists or is already the same as your old one. So we need to check if it's different and then allow it to change. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing we want to make sure that, that the text fields are actually filled with information. We don't want the user to be able to press this button unless, unless this is not full. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say if username and as you can see, that's the name of my username text field. If username.text is not equal to new and, and email.text is not equal to new. And actually, we don't need to do this. Finally, so we have three things here. We have the username, email, and mobile number. So also we wanna check if, sorry, and mobile.text is not equal. So we're just checking if everything is not equal to new. 
we actually want to start changing it. So we're going to say DB dot collection, and I'm going to say users dot oops, dot document, and I'm going to say user ID, and this should be in a string. So I'm just simply going to say this. Dot update now remember if you put set data and not update data it will actually change the whole thing but we only want to update those specific things so I'm going to say do this and inside of here I'm going to say user name and then I will say username so we want to update it with the username dot text the new one and here we have to actually force force it and we we can know that it will have value because we already checked here so don't don't really stress about the errors after that and the user id as well should actually be forced and here we're going to say so after the username we have a user email and you might be wondering where am i getting these names from so let me quickly just show you so everything i'm writing here the users let me actually make this smaller bring up the Firebase database. So as you can see, we're going through users, and then we're going through the document ID, which is a user ID, and then we're going use we're changing the username and user email and mobile number. Make sure you write these exactly the same way you have them written here: user email, username, and user uh, and mobile number. Depending on what you called it, this is what you're going to be calling it for yourself. So now we have the user email and it's going to be user email. Would you like to Sorry, Siri decided to speak. Which is actually just email. Dot text. After that, we're going to be putting the mobile number. So I'm just simply going to say mobile number. And then here I will say mobile text and there we go so this will actually update the information it will update everything but now we actually have to update if the email did change we have to update it not just in the database like we're doing right here but also if under the user's credentials so let's go ahead and do that so if it's not empty we first want to check if it's actually the same if the user inserted the same thing so let's yeah so if the user inserts the same email we actually don't want to change it because it means it's the same. So we, this is what we need to do. We're going to say if email dot text is not equal to user email. So if the email text, the email that the person inserted in the text field is not equivalent to the current user email, then we want to change it to this user email. So I'm going to go ahead and say current user dot update email and I'm just gonna go ahead and select the first one it update email too and we want it to be the email dot text force unwrap it and let's yeah let's have a nice completion let's remove this like that come over here say error in and we say if let error is equal to error then print the error now obviously I am printing the error but you're most likely going to do something a bit a little bit more useful than just printing it anyway let's run this and actually see if everything works correctly or not okay so everything finished running let's go ahead and first sign in and if you remember I changed the email to David Bolus one one at hotmail.com and password was 123446. Let's go ahead and sign in. If you go to my account, you'll see the new information. Now I want to edit it, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm actually going to edit everything so you can get a nice example. I'm going to keep this as David uh, Admin. This email, let's actually change it back to David Magid1. And instead of 795, we can say 798. Now, if I go ahead and click save, you realize that everything here changed. 
from the stuff that I changed let's go ahead and check if the authentication also changed and it did so everything works fine you now manage to update the email in your um, under the user's credentials and at the same time in the database thank you for watching and please remember to leave a like leave a subscribe or give me your feedback if you actually didn't like it again you can always visit tap away website and actually hire me or inquire about any of your projects and i'll be more than willing to help you get the whole project done thank you all for watching and please do come back